What's up, Hopper? I mean, legacy fans, Brent Cook, and tonight we are playing the formerly Popper Legal Chatterstorm deck here in Legacy. This deck was so good, it's had multiple things banned out of it, and I figured, hey, why not play it in Legacy? Let's port it over. I was supposed to play a donation deck tonight, but it had so many clicks in it that I decided I was going to play it on another night where I had more time. And then I started scrolling through my videos that I've uploaded over the last year, and I thought, hmm, I wonder if you could play Chatterstorm and Legacy, and now here we are. So tonight, I am so excited to play this. You have no idea. Like, I am, like, giggling. I'm so giddy. I can't wait to start this league. But before we do that, let's have a quick deck tech, and then we'll hop right on in. I am so excited. So if you're unaware, this combo is based around the card Chatterstorm, and then first day of class. So first day of class is sort of the heart of this deck. It's a one and a red for an instant, not a sorcery. So if you're thinking about Burning Wish, get out of here. This is not a Burning Wish deck. This is a first day of class deck. So it's an instant. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control this turn, it enters with a plus one, plus one counter, and it gains haste. So that's the key part. So the way that it works with Chatterstorm is each copy resolves separately. It creates a 2-2 and then a 1-1 one, one with a trigger. So effects like Electricery or Golgari Charm or whatever wouldn't kill an entire army of squirrels. Instead, there's a trigger and then, you know, whatever. Uh, but you never get to get them all with a one damage sweeper, I guess is my point here. And then with first day of class, it has a second ability called Learn. So you can either get a card with Lesson out of your sideboard, so like Pest Summoning, which essentially lowers your storm count required to win with Chatterstorm. Fractal summoning in case you can't actually find Chatterstorm. That's what this is here for. Environmental sciences in case you just need one more storm at the cost of one mana, it allows you to get your basic forest. Introduction to prophecy is sort of like a bad preordain for when you have a lot of mana. And then introduction to annihilation. This card is probably more cute than good, but essentially it allows you to beat something like a glacial chasm uh, effect. But it's sort of a catch-all. I don't think it's very good, but hey, it's cute. And this deck is sort of cute to begin with. Why not, right? Like, it's going to be fine. We're here to have fun tonight. If I happen to do well, sweet. I am just looking forward to attacking for lethal with squirrels. That is the entire point tonight. So kick back, relax, have some fun with me. This is going to be a fun league. Um, and then... It has this other ability, first day of class, uh, where if you don't get the lesson, you can rummage. And rummage is just like an evergreen keyword phrase that magic players use, which is discard a card, draw a card. Uh, there's a ton of cards within magic that have rummage. That's what it is. So first day class is either a pseudo looting or a pseudo burning wish, however you choose to look at it on top of its other effect. Well, the rest of this deck has a bunch of cool cards in it, like Land Grant. So Land Grant is a free storm for Chatterstorm or Galvanic Relay while being a part of the mana base. So we have three forests here, a taiga, a bayou, and a forest. You know, they're all cards we can get with land grant. It lowers the mana count, so you hit more spells, you get to do more broken things. So with land grant, you're essentially playing seven lands, 11 with chrome mox, 15 with mox opal, and then 19 with lotus petal. So we have 19 initial mana sources, which I think is about fine. Um, yeah, well, what artifacts do we play to support Mox Opal other than these obvious broken ones up here? Well, we have an experimental synthesizer, which was the straw that broke the camel's back. And by that, I mean this curve is so good, it got Galvanic Relay banned out of Popper. So, it's probably pretty good here. And it creates multiple copies of card advantage in conjunction with Deadly Dispute, which is why we're running a Singleton Chromatic Star for mana fixing for this Chatter Storm. But also, uh, it's Ancestral Recall if you sacrifice it to Deadly Dispute, which is pretty sweet. Deadly Dispute also makes treasure tokens, which help cast Chatterstorm. So there's no need for anything like Manamorphose, which is a card that the Pauper deck originally played. I don't think Manamorphose is actually a legacy playable card, if I'm being completely honest. But here, Deadly Dispute does that role while eliminating functions out of the deck. So Deadly Dispute is just so bonkers. Um... And then I originally had Knight's Whisper, but I think Echo Veons is just way better in this deck. It allows you to mulligan very aggressively, gives you the ability to recover from your opponent's stuff. I think it just makes perfect sense here. So we're running four main deck relay and four echo. So this deck is powerful. And Lion's Eye Diamond is the secret sauce with both of those cards. 
So Lion's Eye Diamond in conjunction with Relay allows you to just cast all the cards from Exile and use Lion's Eye Diamond like Black Lotus, which is really busted. But then, then on top of that, Echo works really well with Lion's Eye Diamond as well because it discards the Echo from your hand, gives you the three mana to flash it back, so it does everything. Um, I thought about making this a budget list, and then I decided, no, we're not going to do budget tonight. We're going to do the most broken Squirrel Storm deck we can, and that's the goal here. Uh, in the sideboard, then we have Abrupt Decay for things like Deafening Silence or Canonist, Leyline of the Void for Reanimator, and Thought Seeds for Blue Decks. I don't really... I didn't think too much about the sideboard, if I'm being honest. They're sort of just generic catch-alls for here. You could run, like, Carpet of Flowers, I suppose, uh, but... We're not going to do that tonight. We're just looking, to, you know, we're going to do our thing. That's what we're doing here. I hope you enjoyed this league. If you have any ideas on how to make this deck better, leave those in the comment section down below. I try to respond to everything, but uh, this is mostly just a fun deck. If I 5 oh, that would be amazing, but I'm just looking to have a blast tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm rambling. I'll see you in match number one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for a Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for 7 tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us, just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some Magic. It's time for match 1. I, I'm so, so excited for this. Ah oh, no, double opal, this hand would have been the nuts. Ah, oh, that's a bummer, we have to ship this. On the draw, I would consider keeping this, but on the play, I think we can do better. Okay, so if we bottom Synthesizer, we could imprint the first day, and then we have turn one relay. Um, alternatively, you could, and this is crazy person territory, you could bottom the first day, play Petal, Rite of Flame, Synthesizer, and then look to spike into the ritual. I don't think I like that as much, so I think we're gonna bottom the... I think that's gotta be it. Okay, let's try this out. I have no clue what our opponent's playing. They've gone to five. Okay, Lotus Petal. That's an F6. Imprint the first day, Rite of Flame. Dark Ritual, Galvanic Relay for five. We had a Chatter Storm. Okay, so we can at least make some goblins next turn, or I'm sorry, some squirrels next turn, but I'm not sure if it's going to be good enough. No, Trinosphere. Oh, that's not cool. Why would you do that? Why would you play such a heathen deck? All right, so we didn't get that. 
admittedly we are not prepared for this matchup um we're not playing force of vigor we can't realistically ever answer a trinosphere so we're on the play i like i guess cabal ritual is like kind of crummy so we can board in thought seize. that was rough um and on the play, I don't think I'm going to worry about Abrupt Decay. I think I'm just going to try to do my thing. Or maybe I do want Decay. I don't know. All right, let's do two Thought Seas, two Decay. Or maybe I could take out a Chrome Star. Too late. All right, on the play. Once again, double Opal. But we do have this Echo. All right, I'm going to keep this. Please don't punish me. All right, Opal. We're gonna play the other Opal for Storm here. And then just immediately flash back the Echo. All right, Storm four. Um, I cannot hard cast this Echo. Hmm, that's a bummer. Um, if we had a Chatter Storm here, it'd be a whole boatload. And I just have to pass the turn. What can they do? Ancient Tomb. Chalice on one. Obviously, they saw my hand, so they know what to play it for. Um, Alright, so that does enable Metalcraft, but we're one mana short of hard casting this Echo. So I just have to pass the turn here. Kind of a cool thing. Um, not that it's going to be relevant here, but uh, learn discards Echo of Aeon, so that way you have another way of getting Echo to the graveyard. All right, draw. Can't actually play that. Uh, I think we just moved to discard here. Well, Past the turn. I think we're looking at moving to discard, but I don't know if I'm going to be alive that long. Draw. No! Alright, I think I need a miracle rip here, like a Lion's Eye Diamond. I guess Abrupt Decay could actually do it too. War Boss. I don't believe that's lethal. Okay. Need to draw the out here. The second echo is not going to do it. So that's sort of a bummer. Um, womp womp. At least it was a fast one. Zero and one. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. All right, time for match number two. We're on the play. Um, so land grant gets a land, but the rest of our hand doesn't really do a whole lot. So I think you're like, if this Cabal Ritual is a dark ritual, I think we'd actually keep this. Uh, so I think we're going to mulligan this. And this seems reasonable. Uh, so I think we keep this and we bottom the relay. Okay. Lotus Petal. Lions of Diamond. Mox Opal. Tap this for red. Play a Mox Opal. All right, let's play the Synthesizer. Ooh, okay. And now we can play Turn 1 Chatterstorm. And then, what, kind of cool here, we can use the Lions of Diamond to make a Samurai. At three red, sacrifice the synthesizer, and we get our land drop for the turn. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Once upon a time, 
This is where they reveal Tabernacle and I cry myself to sleep. All right, it looks like we got game number one. Um, we're on the draw. We probably want these abrupt decays. And let's shave on Cabal Ritual. Let's try this out. Game number two. All right, so we have turn one Echo of Aeons. I think we keep this. We just automatically lose to a deafening sounds, but we'll see. Thought sees Blinds Eye Diamond out of here. So this might be black green. Ooh, they took the Chrome Mox. Kind of surprised by that. I think the actual pick was supposed to be the LED. All right, let's spin that wheel. Uh, so I'm a mana short on relay. I think I'm supposed to just play the synthesizer here. Okay, that's good. So now I can play Chromox and imprint the first day. And then let's do the deadly dispute sacrificing the synthesizer because we get three cards off this. All right, so an LED would allow us to relay. No LED. Um, I think we just pass for now. So relay is going to get exiled because we can't cast it. And another thought sees. Relay down. No second land. Okay, uh, let's hard cast the land grant. Why not? Pass the turn. Maybe you're supposed to hold both. I don't know. Like, because technically it's double storm if you find another relay, but I feel like that's a little bit of wishful thinking. Wait, are they elves? It's elves! I thought it might have been something like, um... Like black green depths or something. That's funny. Draw. Um, I think we just have to pass here. So we have abrupt decay for a theoretical collector oof, but we can also just die at any point here. I'm pretty far away from being able to echo a veance, which is how we will get back into this game. And another nettle sentinel. You got it. Let's auto yield to those. They're passing. Draw. That's a good one. Um, black. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to sacrifice the Chrome Mox. I could sack the treasure, but I feel like that's wasteful. Another deadly dispute, and I drew the forest. I thought about it too. I was like, do I want a land grant? And I was like, well, if it fizzles, I don't want to. And I was like, what are the odds I draw the forest? And I decided against it, immediately punished. Um, so now I'm going to sack the Chrome Mox. I think we just pass here. If I die, I die. Land number three, okay. We're at 11. Glimpse in nature. This means no combo kill. Visionary, okay. Yeah, they're just passing. Come on, Echo of Aeons. If we draw Echo, we can discard it to this first day. Um, is there anything good I can get here? I guess I could get Introduction to Prophecy. All right, I, I guess we're going to do it. Dark Ritual. First day of class. We'll get the introduction to Prophecy and pray that we hit Echo. Um, I can't actually cast Galvanic Relay. <laughs> oh, we're one minute short. All right, I have to pass the turn. At least I'm having fun, I guess. Like, this deck's ridiculous. 
I have to be dead here, right? Like, natural order kill me? Come on. There it is. Come on. All right, now we can go to game three. That game was all sorts of a mess. Like, I got ultra punished on the land grant for not searching out the forest, and yikes. All right, so on the play, I think we don't want the abrupt case. We just want to be the best combo deck we can be. All right, game three against elves. This is not a keep. Mulligan that. So here we have Echo. So we can... This is a turn one relay for four. I think we keep this and we bottom the synthesizer. Keep. And then here we're just looking to flip a Lion's Eye Diamond from the Galvanic Relay or to chain Relay into Relay. So it's only a Relay for four, but I think that's fine. It looks like I'm getting Mind Break trapped. Yep, okay. So we're looking to top deck a Diamond then. Brian Ranger, draw. Another Echo, not ideal. Thought sees jokes on you. My hand sucks. <laughs> I guess they could take the echo if they have a surgical extraction and they decided to take a relay. All right. Draw. Right of flame. Makes triple red, uh, which could have in theory played relay for two, I guess. We'll take two here down to 17 and they're passing. Well, Ritual doesn't do anything. So if this is Dryad Arbor, now they can cast Natural Order with this Quarian Ranger. So this might just be lethal. All right, I feel a Natural Order. There it is. Uh, I think they could have had one more untapped creature. Oh, they're getting Archon. I think Huff might have done it. Uh, but this is going to win too. All right, so while we didn't win this uh, match, I had a blast. We're zero and two. We'll get a win. I, I guess a match win. We got a game win. Next time, match win. Do <laughs> match number three. Playing your favorite combo deck and paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm mini token pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens, that's 128 tokens total, and they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for grape shot, everyone's favorite storm wind condition, a galvanic relay exile indicator, 4 treasure tokens for strike it rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has slime time live! Eve Progenitor Ooze Tokens with the power and toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then Squirrels vs. Goblins, Chatterstorm vs. Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel Tokens and 20 Goblin Tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. Match three on the play. Um, we are getting wrecked by these double opal hands. Yikes. All right, have to ship this. We have LED Echo. I guess we're getting a free mulligan. Keep, uh, we'll hide the relay, I guess. All right, Lion's Eye Diamond. Sacrifice for three blue and flashback Echo of Aeons. Oh no, they kept Force Will against the username Brian Cook. I did not see that coming. All right, so uh, this is obviously a game loss, but I'm going to stick in here and find out what they're playing, and then we can uh, go to game two after that. Volcanic Islands, most likely just Delver. Okay, we've seen what they're playing. We can just go to the next one. Womp womp. All right, let's bring these thought seizes in. 
get rid of this chromatic star and uh we can board out some cabal rituals i think rituals by far the weakest slot in this deck and maybe if we're the echo deck you could play veil of summer instead i'm not sure maybe veil would be better I guess the problem with Veil is that it's less versatile. Like you can board in Thought Season more matchups when you have such a limited sideboard. Not really sure. Okay, match three, game two. This is not a keep. So here we have two lands. Or well, two mana sources. I think we're supposed to ship this. Like I just don't know what this hand does. This hand's really slow. All right. I think we just have to take some hits and then draw up to like seven or eight cards before we make an action. All right, we drew Echo. So now we just need a Black Source. So let's cast this land grant, go get our Black Source for the Thought Seas. Are you going to force my land grant? They are, in fact, forcing land grant. Okay. Spin that wheel. Storm four. Oh, no. We can't chatter storm. That's a bummer. Have to pass the turn. I think we want to draw, like, a Chromox here. Would definitely be one of our better draws. Channeler, you got it. Mistress Bobble. Her deck is like half mana. We're just like not drawing it. All right, so they're drawing a card off Bobble here, and we can't cast that. So I think I'm actually going to get rid of the Thoughtseize. Our hand should be able to just brute force through a force if we ever draw like a Lotus Petal or a Chrome Mox. Now we're taking one from the Channeler. They have six cards still in hand. Draw. I feel like I can't show them this. Um, get rid of the Synthesizer. Maybe that's the wrong move. Ouch. Relay. All right. So I think I have to discard probably first day here. Brazen Borrower. I guess maybe I could have discarded the Deadly Dispute. All right. So we're taking four down to 14. Yikes. Not looking good for the home team. All right, so I think it's safe to say that maybe this deck doesn't want four opals. Like, you probably want three plus some other artifacts. This has been kind of brutal. Just not finding uh, Metalcraft in a number of games so far. And at this point, our opponent it, like can just make their creatures delirious next turn and win the game, too. All right, so uh, this was a nightmare. We're zero and three. There's only two rounds left. I would like a win. Let's see if we can make that happen. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a card hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your card hoarder cart to make life simple for you. Match number four. We have a turn one chatter storm here. Unfortunately, we can't cast this first day of class, but we're going to keep this anyway. Scalding Tarn. Volcanic Island. Channeler. Okay. So blue red again. 
what we want to draw into is like a lotus petal because lotus petal would unlock playing synthesizer and they're going to bobble us okay draw is that good um actually i think the answer is no so you could play synthesizer here or you could just take four uh squirrel tokens i think i'm going to go for the bigger play here and play synthesizer it's just not worth playing chatterstorm for four echo of aeons i could actually hard cast it but i lose to everything um that said i don't know what this hand is doing otherwise okay let's spin that wheel on echo tell me you kept a hand without force Four days. Ah, uh, the patience. Okay. We'll keep on playing this for now, but if I wasn't re recording this, I would have conceded right there. I'm just trying to play my fun deck here, and uh, people are not letting me have fun. Darn legacy power level cards stopping my sweet brew from ever doing its thing. Classic legacy problems. That's not it at all. Uh, legacy is a hyper -le power level format. Uh, we were actually talking about it on the Eternal Glory podcast uh, last episode and whether or not legacy or modern is more open to brews. And Phil and, and Brian, Phil and Brian disagreed with me, saying that legacy is more likely to have your brew be successful. Um, and I actually disagree with that. I think modern is by far because I think. My argument is that even the bad decks in Legacy are super powerful. Like, Nick Fit puts, like, giant planeswalkers and omniscience in a play on turn three or four. Um, where, like, in Modern, like, I get bad donation decks all the time that I 3-2 with. Where I don't think that it happens that often in Legacy. Alright, so we can flashback Echo here. We need them not to have anything in hand. Okay, I'm going to concede to that. Okay, so that was game number one. Once again, I'm going to try boarding out a bunch of the Cabal Rituals. I think Rituals by far, the Cabal Ritual that is, is by far the worst slot in this deck. Before I started recording, I considered making it Simeon Spirit Guide because Simeon Spirit Guide enables Turn 1 Synthesizer and Rite of Flame. Uh, it helps you get to Chatterstorm and other things on turn one, which is really what you want. The problem with it is it also doesn't work with Synthesizer. You can't exile it from Exile or a Galvanic Relay. So it's a little bit awkward. doesn't make Storm either for Chatterstorm or Relay. So I decided against it. Uh, that said, I think Cabal Ritual is pretty stinky. Uh, it's possible that you're actually supposed to be running Tinderwall over um cabal ritual and i think tinderwall actually makes sense now that i'm looking at it i think that the cabal ritual should definitely be tinderwall yeah that's an oversight on my part clearly i would have five would this league if i had tinderwall in my deck instead of cabal ritual it's just science okay game number two i don't think I'm allowed to keep this. There's just too much action, not enough mana. All right, I guess we keep this. Bottom the relay. All right, Chrome Mox. Imprint the Cabal Ritual. It's the best thing this card's done all league. All right. Cabal Ritual stinks. Uh, Deadly Dispute, and we will sacrifice the Chrome Mox. We hit the Thoughtseize. That's pretty sweet. Okay. They did not have Force. And now we can spin the wheel on this Echo of Aeons. Hey, we can finally cast Shatterstorm. Let's play Mox Opal. Thoughtseize. I guess one nice thing about Thoughtseize too is that you can target yourself and discard Echo. 
All right, we'll take the force. Thought sees again, then we'll take the ponder. Play land grant. All right, we got to do our thing. I guess I'll quit complaining. I do have to win another game in order to win a match, though. Feels like a, a steep ask, but we have 12 squirrel tokens on the battlefield. What more could a guy ask for? I actually own Japanese foil squirrel tokens. That's how much I love Chatterstorm. Hey, all right, game three coming up. We're just going to resubmit. How did I not think of Tinderwall, though? I'm a little embarrassed right now. I could have been playing Tinderwall instead of these stinky Cabal Rituals. I don't know what I was thinking. But also, playing Tinderwall opens up Force of Vigor out of the sideboard. Yeah. Because then you actually have a reasonable green count. Keep. Keep, 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 keep. Island. Bobble. And ponder. I think I want to draw like a Mox Opal here. Mox Opal would allow me to play my entire hand. Otherwise, I have one, two, three... Four storm for chatter storm which isn't that many because i have to have a card to imprint under the chrome mox and if i draw a card i can imprint it's five which isn't that many anyway like five might win but it's a little bit low okay ding let's play diamond i th i do think i need to imprint land grant and then we can play Synthesizer. Actually, I probably want to pull a land out of my deck first. Let's grab the Bayou. And then Synthesizer. Oh, well, I guess I can play both Chatter's Rums this turn. Kind of sweet. That was uh, a really good reveal. It would have been better if it was uh, Galvanic Relay, but I'll take it. All right, and now this chatter storm. Aya. <laughs> oh. The squirrel world. All right, so that was a good opal draw. We've we've had some not so good opal draws. All right, so they have a scalding tarn. No. Oh, my heart is broken. Um, that's so sad. The festivities sure have been ended. Uh, yikes. All right, I'm going to pick it up. We're zero and four. Womp womp. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. The fifth and final round. Obviously, our record isn't great, but I would still love a win. Um... Sure, I guess we'll keep. Opponent is taking a mulligan to four. I think they're on reanimator. Um, I'm actually just going to pass the turn here. If I get turn one gristle branded on a mulligan to four, you got me. Uh, but I feel like oh, they're not on uh, reanimator. Is this really blue red again? Kind of boring. Um. We should wait for land grant, but I mean, now they would know about the deadly dispute being my only action. Let's play the land grant. I don't know. 
All right, Lotus Petal. This way we can pay for our days and sack the Chrome Ox. Synthesizer. Okay, come on, Relay. Do I, I mean, I guess, yeah, it's not a do I dare. It's like I'm just supposed to. All right, Synthesizer. If I can make seven mana here. Okay, why not? We're not doing well this league anyway. All right, so we're... Um, this would make four. I think I'm just going to... I don't know. Let's do it. Come on, hit Chatter Storm. Land Grant. That's a bummer. We blew our entire hand for two samurai. Pass the turn. All right. Get in there. I'm an aggro deck. All right, they're at 14. And they are, is it Delver? For us, iteration. I'm going to try to sneak this uh, Deadly Dispute in here. That's a force, pitching Merc Tide Regent. I have all three of the lands in my deck on the table. And a Channeler. Sorcery land, so this is now Delirious, which means it would kill a Samurai. Alright, we just have to pass here. We'll take three going to 17. And another channeler. Are we going to lose to a mulligan to four? It would appear the answer is yes. Yikes. Okay. What are storm spells anyway? All right, am I dead? Not dead. Right on time, first day of class, right on time. All right, so that was obviously a nightmare. Try myself to sleep with that one. Um, yeah, I don't really know. On the play for game number two. So I can go Dark Ritual. Deadly Dispute, away the diamond. All right, so I think the real thing is we're just going to keep this hand in turn one Thoughtseize. All right, Bayou, Thoughtseize. Take the force. Pass the turn. They do get to have a turn one Ponder. Volcanic Ponder. Draw. Okay. So the question is, do I keep the diamond around or the opal? And I think it's the diamond. If you keep the opal, you're only one artifact away from the opal being active, but I think I'd rather just have a diamond. Okay. I don't think I can get punished by force here, but I could be wrong. Right of Flame, because even if they force the second one, I still have enough mana to cast uh, Relay. So this is a Relay for eight. And pass the turn. People like when I pop it out, so here you go. Double Chatter Storm and a first day. I think this game might be the only game in which we get to assemble both uh, first day and the Chatter Storm. Okay, so they're going to draw a card off Bobble. Draw. All right, player land. Lotus Petal. Right of Flame. Oh, they made four. That's funny. Uh, let's play first day of class. 
Um, let's add some green, I guess. First day. I mean, they have to force this if they don't want to die to the chatter storm. And they are, in fact, forcing first day of class. All right, lines at diamond. Chrome Mox. No, 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 cancel, cancel. All right, Chatter Storm. All right, so we have some squirrels. So I can actually cast this other Chatter Storm as well and then hard cast the Echo. I have enough mana to do it all. All right, add three blue. Echo of Aeons. All right. Um... Oh, our opponents decided that they've had enough. So we got a game. That's three game wins. Let's see if we can get two game wins in the same round. How about that? I know it's a crazy thought, and I might be a little bit greedy, but I'd like to make it happen. This is certainly not a hand that wins games. We're going to ship this. Mulligan. Uh... I think we keep this in just bottom of I don't know. I don't know. So I guess the hope here is that like you reveal relay to synthesizer. And if this gets dazed, I don't care. We have triple diamond. I'm getting dazed. Okay. Switch phases. If I get surgical here, that'd be a uh, really bad. All right, synthesizer, I need you to be good. Show me galvanic relay. I'd take a chatter storm too. All right, that gives me another look. All right, synthesizer. Come on, give me a storm spell. Uh, that is not a storm spell. All right, we're going to get a little bold here. Um, let's cast Rite of Flame. And uh, make a Samurai. We're looking for a Storm spell. Uh, all right, so I can still theoretically flip exactly Chatterstorm here. Come on, deck, please. That's not going to do it. Deadly Dispute, sacking the Chrome Mox. And they have fours. Okay. Yeah, well, what they don't have are two Samurai tokens, so... What about that? Did not shuffle. That's not a good sign. All right. Attack. Delver of Secrets. Attack. Hey, they're half dead. They're at 10. Uh, moral victory. Delver now flips, revealing Brainstorm. They're getting in. We go to 17. They have enough to play Murktide here, which is probably just going to stalemate uh, us the rest of this game. And there it is. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're getting this. Are you saying that first day of class and Murktide Regent are not similar power level cards? That is offensive on so many different levels. Draw. Ah, uh, it doesn't make red mana. Clearly, if we had Tinderwall in our deck, we would have been okay here. Um, it's been a long time since I've had a, a straight zero for five. So this was the deck list. If Obviously, going into this, I knew that this wasn't a hyper competitive deck. Did I think we would 05? No. I thought maybe 2-3, and if we were lucky, we'd 3-2. I was not expecting a 0 and 5. So if you're looking to make this deck actually better, I think you cut the Cabal Rituals for Tinder Walls. You put Force of Vigor in the sideboard. You might want Veil of Summer instead of Thoughtseize. And uh, 
I don't know about all these lesson cards, but hopefully you at least found this video fun despite me going zero for five. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you. And if you skip to the end, shame on you. How dare you not watch Chatterstorm? Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Take care and keep storming. Hey, Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.